Today, I will be making the vampire's graduation gown. This gown is designed to ensure the vampire can attend his graduation without worrying about the sun. Using the think cards, I added more detail to my designs. I was fairly confident that the vampire's first priority would be function and protection, making sure the sun stays off of him. While it is vital for the vampire to protect himself, it is also important to recognise that style is a priority for our extraordinaire. The vampire is not afraid of expressing his individuality and wears the clothes that make him happy. My design has to reflect that individuality and show off our extraordinaire's personal preferences. Once I had my design, I could create and cut out my pattern. After marking and cutting out the pieces for the gown, I started this project by pinning the shoulder pieces together, sewing along the chalk outlines I had made. Once the shoulder pieces were sewn together, I stitched a hem along the front of the collar. Moving onto the sleeve, sewed a hem along the edges to create the bat wing pattern and proceeded to sew each sleeve to the shoulder piece. I then created the hood by placing the two pieces back to back and sewing along the curved edge. I then attached this to the main gown. Once the hood was in place, I then pinned and sewed the back piece onto the gown. I then needed to create the front of my gown. After sewing together two of the front pieces and creating a hem, I took some of my lining fabric and cut out small bats. I attached these to the front of the gown using fabric glue and stitched the pieces in place. Finally, I needed to start stitching my lining in place. Starting with the sleeves, I sewed the lining onto the hem. After creating an identical hood piece, I sewed the openings together and turned the whole hood inside out. To attach the final piece of lining, I stitched along the edges of the shoulder pieces and then sewed the lining onto the hem on the front of the gown. I then proceeded to stitch the lining from the front of the gown all the way through to the back, making sure to stitch the sleeve under the lining in the process. I then stitched the sleeve together. I used a small insert of velcro glued into the interior of the gown to keep it shut. I then sewed a small hem along the bottom of the gown. To make the square piece of the hat, I used fabric glue to wrap a piece of cardboard and fabric. By winding thread around my fingers, I created a group of threads of equal length, which became the tassel for my hat. Finally, I glued it in place. If this video inspired you, be sure to like, share and subscribe. If you want to make this at home, links to the instructions and the Extraordinaire's Design Studio are in the description below. Thanks for watching.